The seventh axis comes uh, with the combined advantage of compactness, but also very tough and very precise. And it's not only used for the applications such as welding, as you can see here with NEMAC, cooperation with us. It brings the first fruits already, as the seventh axis is showing, but also for handling um, activities and also, for instance, for painting and other applications. We are open for further developments. Here we see the Type 2, as I said, for the company NIMAC. It's a sister company and brings already the first fruits of, yeah, co to cooperation we get stronger. And therefore, we have the seventh axis for the Type number 2. 2 stands for 2 tons payload for the, for the carrier or, or 2 tons robot altogether. This one as a payload is robot of 270 kilos and a total load of up to 2 tons. Also, the robot behind me can be used for that. But you also have the size number one for one ton, and size number three for three th tons total payload. If you use this as a normal linear carrier, not as a robot carrier, you can double the weight with a factor of two. And as I said, we combine toughness with also precision. Precision of 0 0.02 of a millimeter is way precise. And uh, through the cleverness of our construction, we can apply here several custom-made features and advantages. Not only that it's compact, of course, less than 1.5 meter width cable tray, but and 440 millimeters width height. We also get here, for instance, a referencing device with referencing peg, and um, and also a hole to in ensure that. Also, we see the um, the vernier with the, with the zero position to ensure the zero position, even if we do any kind of maintenance work or repairs or change of t of parts. What else we have here? We also have the the linear rail. It's also coated for aggressive environments, which is a great asset. What else can we also add? We also have here the the lubrication system is all fully automated for the pinion and rack, but also we can also add the same uh, functionality to the cam followers, which are also used in our turntables. By the way, we have a lot of lot of many years of experience and a lot of good feedback from our customers. Tough and precise, and it can also be lubricated with automated dispenser. And also an, an increase of height can be guaranteed using spacers or rings. And of course, if the customer de desires, can also get entire elevation of the structure for a desired height. We can do seven axes, that's true, but you can do more than that. And therefore we also have developed the eighth axis. What is the eighth axis? You can see in our video here, we add our EDH turntable or other turntable from our series, and we can turn carriers and robots or tools or any kind of devices the customer may want to. And what is the goal? We can reach way more complicated areas, reduce costs by decreasing the, size, the amount of robots in the plant, and give us this flexibility you want to, you want to give in a modern factory. This is only an example of 90 degrees, but other shapes like U-shape or adding more stations or other kind of output angles are also possible. This is only an, ex an example, an impulse for our market where you see a potential here for the modern plants and modern factories. And please contact us on our website. We can discuss with you the planning of your uh, factory and of your project. And uh, of course, as you can see here, our seventh axis combines itself um, with AGVs.